Hi everybody, it's Claire with another art journal video. This is a very quick one because it was filmed on my iPhone as a hyperlapse. So it is a bit quick, I do apologise. Um, I'm starting off in the large craft journal with some clear gesso because I'm going to be using the gloss sprays, as you will see, um, once it's dry. So I'm using um, magenta and orchid and fuchsia, I think. Um, spraying it down the middle of the page and you can see because the clear gesso is there that it's um, it's sitting on the top of the surface of the page rather than sinking into the craft um, so this is a great way just to get those colours to stay a bit more true um, then I've just splashed some magenta no I think that might actually be carnation it is it's carnation on the top um, and that one did sink in a little bit so I added a bit more and then dried it and um, then I am using the new, well, it's the more recent ancient um, gloss spray from Dina Wakely. And I'm just dripping that down the page using the stem of the um, spray bottle just to help me create some funky drips there. This one is so pretty when it dries. It's got such a sparkle to it. Um, it's, yeah, it's really quite surprising. And then some splatters just to finish that off too. So next I'm going to start doing a bit of stamping using the Scribbly Insects uh, stamp set um, to create my focal points on my page. Before that I'm just using the Mantra stencil and a little bit of white paint. You can see I've decided to add some white onto the page in a couple of places too. Um, and then a little bit of stenciling over the top so I've just sprayed the um, magenta gloss spray through that. It has disappeared a little bit actually it doesn't show up very well on the camera but it did on the page when it was finished. So then the scribbly insect stamp I'm just using the butterfly I'm stamping it using archival ink onto some white cardstock um, and then when it's dry I'm going to be using the scribble sticks to add some colour to these butterflies so as you will know if you've played with scribble sticks you need to add a lot of um, pigment down so you have to press quite hard um, and then you will get a lovely rich colour when you water activate it I mean obviously you don't have to water activate it but it's, it's so pretty um, I think next time I go on holiday I may be brave and just take the scribble sticks with me um, and just see how I get on It'd be quite fun I think. So then I'm using my water brush and I'm just activating those um, colours and just blending them together a little bit. Creates a really pretty colour. And then once these are dry um, they're going to be cut out and they will be added onto the page as, as like the focal images really. So of course I've done three because you know that three odd numbers work well on journal pages for your focal points. Um, it's just more pleasing to look at. It's more balanced, I guess. I'm using my um, double sided tape gun and a little bit of glue stick to stick these in place just to make sure they don't pop off the page. And I'm just working these up the centre of the page where I've concentrated most of the colour. And then just adding some white accents using, is it white or is it pink? Oh no, I think it was gold. Beg your pardon, it was a gold pen. Jeez, need to look more carefully. <laughs> um, so then I'm just using one of the stamps from the Scribbly Insect with some white um, acrylic paint and just stamping that onto directly onto my page and cleaning my stamp really well afterwards. And uh, then I am using a stubble all and just pulling out some of the black um, marks on the butterflies just to darken those up because obviously I've added the scribble stick over the top it's pushed the black lines away into the background a little bit and I just want to bring those forward um, so they're a bit more um, obvious and then I'm just adding some splatters using a bit of black watered down acrylic paint And then I think finally I add a quote from the Led Dina Wakely's Ledger papers um, and just add those onto my page. 
sticking them down with glue stick and these the second set of words here I do stick down in one place and then move them a bit further down because it didn't feel quite balanced but you can see it just definitely works better with them down there at the bottom of the page the page has got much more balance so I hope you've enjoyed watching me play with the gloss sprays particularly the ancient one you can see how shimmery it is there it's so pretty um, creating this lovely journal page thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon